and I'm the Botanical County Master Gardener. Today we're going to learn about parts of the flower by doing flower dissection. I'm holding a lily. In the first part we're going to look at are sepals. Sepals are the outermost part of the flower and I'm going to remove them. One, two, and three. Sepals are colorful on lily, but other flowers they're often green. The rose, for example, has five sepals. So sepals can come in different numbers. The next part of the flower we're going to look at is the part you're probably the most familiar with, petals. Petals are colorful and they often have a scent. And the color and scent attract pollinators, like birds, bees, and butterflies. I'm going to remove the petals. One, Two, three. Lilies have only three petals. Other flowers have different numbers, like the rose, which has many petals. The next part we're looking at is the male part of the flower. Flowers have male and female parts. Some have both, like the lily. Others have one or the other. The male part of the flower is called the stamen. And the stamen has two parts the anther and the filament which holds the stamen. I am going to remove the anther. The anther has yellow pollen on it that you should be able to see and feel. I'm going to take off the rest of the stamen. We've removed one so far. Two, three, four, I and six. Now what we have left is the female part of the flower, which is called the pistil. The top of the pistil is the stigma, and the stigma can be sticky so that the pollen can stick to it. When a bee lands on it, it has pollen on its body. I'm going to cut off the stigma. And below the stigma, is the style, which is a hollow tube. And the pollen can go down that hollow tube. Below that is the ovary. And I'm going to cut open the ovary in, in half, the lengthwise. And inside the ovary is the ovule. And you will probably need a magnifying lens to take a closer look at the ovule. The ovule is the egg. I have a model here for a close-up of some of these parts that we have just talked about. We've already taken off the steeples and the petals and some of the amp some of the stamen. Here you can see the anthers and the filament. Here's the female part of the flower, the pistil. The top part of the pistil is the stigma, the sticky stigma of the pollen. Here is the hollow style, the ovary, and inside the ovary is the ovule, the egg. And when the pollen goes down through the style, and through the ovary to the ovule, the ovule becomes fertilized. And someday that will become a seed. And what happens when you plant a seed in the ground? You get a plant that someday will produce flowers. I have taken all the parts that we have just talked about. The outermost part steeple, the colorful petals, the male stamen with anther that has pollen and filament, the female pistol with a sticky stigma, the hollow tube style, the ovary, and finally the ovule where the egg is. You can take part flowers yourself. All you need is you get some flowers from your garden, scissors, and a magnifying glass. So go out there and find some flowers and have some fun.